One of this weekend, folks, but tonight, of course, we had our good friends, Back Alley Hoodoo, in from Richmond, Virginia. So, Jeff, tell us, why are you so popular? <laughs> because we promote ourselves shamelessly. That's why. That's what it takes, no, folks. No, the phrase of the today. night is prostitute, not whore. Yes, okay. of course. <laughs> well, honey, I'm a hoe. I don't know about you. Well, and any money exchange is for companionship only. Oh, yes. <laughs> so dial 9 534 and call this. A little, a, little, a little naked conversation never hurt anybody. Hi, I'm Candy. Anyway, look, you guys are fantastic, guys. I mean, honestly, it was great having you here. How long have you been together? Uh, actually, 14 months right now. Uh, we formed two months prior to last year's Blues Challenge, hosted by the River City Blues Society, which is coming up, and I'm going to pimp shamelessly. Pimp that gig. June 24th at the Capitol Ale House downtown location. Cover is a mere $5, and the winning band will be the RCBS-sponsored band, competing in the International Blues Challenge in Memphis, Tennessee. So if you That's think cool. you got what it takes, get in touch with Greg Willard or go hit wegotblues.com and uh, step it up. Bring it and let us see what you got. Bring it on, everybody. That's the challenge right there, the Blues Challenge. June 24th, did you say? June 24th. WeGotBlues.com is the website? That is the website of the River City Blues Society. i got to tell you guys, I, I was the only one here when these guys got here. The first thing out of everyone's mouth was, look bigger on the Internet. Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> guys, really, I mean, this place let, is let, it's SMOL, small. Here's something I've always wanted to ask, and we, we, we've never asked this of anybody before. You guys walked into a situation you'd never seen in here. What was it like doing the webcast, just walking in cold and seeing all this stuff up here and having to do this stuff? It was killer. Tell us how it good was we killer. Are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, we, can't, we cannot thank you enough for having us out here. It was, uh, it was a real pleasure to be down here. And I mean, well, I wasn't going for ass kissing here, but, it's, but, th but thank <laughs> but you anyway. Good. We appreciate good, it. Right? Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> but I got to tell you, man, it's not like we're curing cancer or anything here, but it feels that real good to be doing what we're doing. <laughs> As I've said many times before, and I'll say it one more time because I haven't said it in a long time, everybody, is that it feels a lot like driving a Model T in 1905 and saying, I wonder what the Thunderbird's going to be like 20 years from now. That's exactly yeah. what this is like. If, we're morning. broadcasting television here, folks. Speaking of which, next week. Net neutrality. Yeah, go ahead. Next week, our first anniversary show, and we're going to open the show with the very, very first thing that we ever did online. Our and very own it, video killed the radio star, and right? And it's funny yeah. as hell. And, and and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll be the one bleeping out all the obscenities too. So, Doug, there's no mystery anymore. Forget about it, folks. Don't watch. Never mind. Wait, Forget wait, wait, told it. You everything this, you need this, to know. It doesn't matter. We've actually shown this. We've fun. shown this a million times. If, for those of you hardcore dedicated fans that have been with us since all 500 of you, all 500 one, of you, yeah. You know, you, a lot of you guys have seen this before. Yes. Don't you dare bleep out anything. And also, we, we, we're, we're, there, I, there, there will be there will be food. There will be frivolity. There will be fun. There, there will be, be hilarity. There will be prostitutes. Well, just us. But we are know, the prostitutes. Does that yeah. mean the band's not showing up? <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Actually, 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 John, actually, our sax player won't be showing up because his girlfriend's making him leave town. Yeah, we already, we already covered that, didn't we? Yeah, but that's one of the things. He has but to change, I'm going to hammer. I'm going to hammer that home oh, all night take long. It all the, Ray, Ray, <laughs> whipped. Whipped. That, that Ray, Ray, Ray whipped to our Malaysian friends. Salam, by the way. We've been watching you guys, watching us, and we got to say thanks so much for tuning in from so far and away. You talk about international. We're tracking this with Google Analytics. We're getting hits from Malaysia, Russia, Italy. England? Britain, yep, Do all over the United told you States were and beyond. Romania. We got Romania, Romania yeah. uh, uh, Buenos Aires. That was not Ferratu. I think that was Do we have? Romania. I mean, do we have viewers from Malaysia we have, right we now? Have, we may have viewers from Malaysia right this very minute. Salam I, I, for I any viewer from you, Malaysia. I have to tell you, Tom Malaysia is the undiscovered jewel of the Pacific. You've been there before? It is like stepping back in time 40 years. Well, what's it called again? What's the city? Batam. Batam, this is the city. Batam. Batam. You just triple our viewership in Malaysia. A -A it's an island off of Singapore. And, okay, uh, you okay. just So go to Singapore, go down to the uh, World Trade Center, and you can catch a ferry for not many dollars at all. Singapore dollars, I think it was about 18 Singapore dollars. Wow. And it's... it's 
breathtaking country. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Well, we, we are, a shout out to um, Kejang and Ipo and Kuala Lumpur, everybody. We thank you so much for watching. And we're going to send out Tony's Vault, which is right now, to uh, our friends uh, in Malaysia. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, Dave. Before we start jumping into more clips, I would like to ask some questions. Dave, what do you want to know? Or what, is exactly. the, what does the chat room want to know? What does everyone want to know? Well, all right. We'll put that question to our chat fans. Yes, indeed. Write in what you want to know. But meanwhile, I have questions I want answered. Ha. Huh. How about that? Okay, Dave. Because I produce so this you thing and so I can bad? do what I want. You think you're so bad? Okay, go ahead. Chop sake, baby. <laughs> so, Jeff, I want to know. Dave. That the background on, on the individual band members. I know that you guys are yeah, relatively we need new. Names as a yeah, names, dude. Yeah, names good point, well, good I want to know I've more about a, you know the individual artists here. I mean, I, I have to be the luckiest guy in the world to have stumbled across this crew. Stumble? Um, what were they lying on the ground or something? And they kind of tripped over them in a bar one night? Absolutely. Or? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, first he stepped he on them. Like, over them. He's like, hey, wait a second. No, <laughs> that is precisely how it happened. I tripped over him when I was down getting drunk in the bottom one night, and I said, "Do you play awesome. a harp?" I like chance? this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, on uh, on harp and sometimes guitar and often vocals is Gordon Graham, who is also a performer with the local choral society of Virginians. Hats off to Gordon Graham. Ooh. Everyone, give him a hand. All right, yeah. Ooh. On lead guitar, playing that battered and and beat up. Strat. That's that the best kind, though. You know that, right? Character just oozing from every pore is uh, Jack Mace from Southside. Yo, Jack Mace from the Southside! <laughs> with, with all the character oozing, he smells better than you'd think he would. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I smell character ooze. That's, that's, what is how, that? that's how we get most of our fans. We just bottle Jack and spray it around the room. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Kills roaches, too, I Jack, hear. But it's especially marked boxes at the theater. It's a roach you. killer. It's a breath spray. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and, and, and uh, on bass uh, we have Rick Thumper Ray, and Rick's quote Ray, is: Ray, Ray, Ray. <laughs> "Right now I'm just pretending to be a bass player." And I'll tell you, he puts up a hell of a pretend show because that boy can bring it. Man, if he ain't really a bass player, he plays one on TV. I'm telling you. <laughs> and on keyboards is the most recent addition to the band, uh, Scott Faulkner. And I kid you not, this is exactly the way I found Scott, which was just a matter of uh, months ago. We, uh, the River City Blues Society sponsored a band called Blues on Board for last year's IBC. And as sort of a thank you, they came up to Richmond and performed for us for a blues brunch at the uh, Blue Bistro on Cuyacuson Road. We did their website. Cool. Blues everywhere, yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm at the I'm at the show. I'm just grooving on the music, and I said to Ellen, "Does anybody here play keyboards?" And she said, "Well, Scott does." And I literally walked across the room and went to Scott and said, "Hey, how do you feel about playing a gig with us in two weeks?" And he said, "Sure." <laughs> Don't you love that? Little did and, he know. <laughs> and the rest is history. And of course, the the gig ended up getting canceled, but. We, we, we're holding on to Scott. Thank you. Cool. All right, Scott. But wait. But, there's a but who about the, what about the drummer? Who's he? What's he all about? Tell yeah, us. yeah. Tell he's, us about this drummer. This drummer is just an antique hacker. He's a, he's a wannabe drummer. Uh, I don't know why they put up with him, but I guess they just a uh, uh, shortage of drummers in well, the Richmond area. He's a guy that has a place to practice and his mom makes s'mores, right? Is that what it is? Well, I don't know about the s'mores part, but the <laughs> practice part is right. That anonymous garage in the East End of Richmond has been the home Ooh, of many a good jam. The East End Blues Band, Back Alley Hoodoo, I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. And the, and the burning Blake. question for the audience is, who does Mike's hair? Who does Mike's hair? Oh, I tell you, love. It's Liza. My hair tonight is done by Ramon, and my clothes by Renee. <laughs> and you can find them at Ramon.com of Miami. Renee.com. Yes, you, a Ramon of Miami, uh, a Ramon of Long Beach. No, no, that's Ramon of Schenectady. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, Wait, go ahead. Anyway, 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 once again, thanks so much for back alley. Thanks for coming uh, on and rocking with us. You guys just kick hard. Do you have a gig coming up that uh, besides the Blues Challenge that you'd like to pimp? Absolutely. We okay, do. is there another gig besides the Blues Challenge coming uh, up? Friday, June fifteenth. You can catch us at the Capitol Ale House. It is the uh, Start of a brand new blues music series here in the Richmond area. 
Uh, Capital Alley House is sponsoring. It's called uh, Blues and Brews every Friday from 5 to 8. I like it already. And Blues and Brews? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's Capital Ale House. That's the corner of 7th and Main, downtown Richmond. It's uh, a great place. They bought out Fireballs next door and have remodeled the entire place, and it is a brand spanking new music hall dedicated every Friday night to real, honest-to-goodness live blues. Not that phony stuff that people have been talking about, that, that counterfeit crap. And so if you want to be there for the inaugural, it starts uh, the first, mu- first Friday in June, and the opening act will be my favorite blues band in Richmond, the Matty Pfeiffer Band. Cool. Back alley, Hootie, everybody. But you're not out of here yet. We're gonna have you guys back.